Okay, this tutorial is going to show how to use VB.NET to use the arrow keys or by modification any other keys to move objects on the screen. So this is quite a simple design. We've got a basic form and one picture box that we've then allocated some code onto the form. So we're going to start that up right from the beginning. So we'll just whip up a new project and put a picture box on, resize it to however big you want. You can either use a background image or I'm just going to use a color so it's easy to see. So I'll just put in a red color. And as always, you should always go and rename your objects. So I'm just going to call this PB Player. This will be part of a series of making games. Let's just test that, make sure it runs. So we've got our form, but nothing happens because we haven't had an, added any interaction. So what we're going to want is to highlight, click on the form, just so the whole form is highlighted. In the properties, go onto the right hand side, there's a little lightning bolt that's for the events. So an event is when we interact with a program. So it could be a button click, keyboard click, moving the mouse, anything we want. There's lots of different options. We're just going to scroll down and choose key down. And double click on that and we can see it's added a subroutine to form one on key down. So as object, when the key handles, it handles. So this is the what event. So my base dot key down. So when the key has been pressed down, this code will run. So we're just going to use start with just a simple if statement. So if e, which is the event dot key code. So whichever key has been pressed is equal to keys. This gives us a list of all the different keys. So keys dot, and I'm just going to use up. So if the up key has been pressed, then we're going to move the picture box. So use the name of your picture box, dot player. Dot, and we have a few options. There's top, bottom, left, and right. We're only going to use the left and top options because bottom is read-only. We can't actually make any changes to it. So we're going to do top is assigned to pb player dot top and to move up so we're moving in terms of drawing the top left corner is position zero zero we increase up so this goes you know positive numbers so this could be zero one hundred sorry one hundred zero and going down this way you know one hundred zero so we've got the x-axis is the same, but the y-axis is sort of inverted. So positive numbers go down, negative numbers go up. So if we want to move this up, we need to adjust the top position in a negative amount. So we're going to just take two pixels off, so it's two dots on the screen. So you can see it's slowly moving up. None of the other keys work. But what we can do is just copy and paste. Do that four times. So key down. So left, move that left. Make sure you change all the place, the correct places. It's very easy to miss one section, so I suggest doing one at a time and then adjusting and checking. So if we do this here, we've now got up, down, left, and right. Now, this has got a bunch of actual separate if statements. We actually have four different ones. We can modify this and change them to else if statements. So rather than having an end at each time, else if Basically means if the other one, first one isn't true, do this. Well, let's do this one. 
otherwise do this one. So if this is true, do this, then skip everything else. If it's not true, try this one, do that, and so on all the way down. Because with the previous code, it'll be run. Each one of these options would be checked every single time, even though we know it's only going to be one of the four options.